we are going to see how to encode a Turing machine. What is a Turing machine? In mathematical model, a Turing machine is represented by eight tuples. So here are the eight tuples Q, Sigma, Tau, Q0, F, direction and a blank symbol. So these are the eight tuples of a Turing machine. A Turing machine is used to accept a recursively enumerable language. So every Turing machine accepts a recursive enumerable language. Here Q represents the set of states, Sigma represents a set of input symbols, Tau represents the set of tape symbols, Q0 is the initial state, F is the final state, L and R is the direction in which the tape head is going to move, that is left and right. And delta is the transition function. And then there is a special symbol called as a blank symbol on the tapes, which acts as a delimiter on the tape. We are going to see how to encode a Turing machine now. I hope you know what a Turing machine is and how to construct a Turing machine before seeing this video. We are going to encode a Turing machine using binary strings. Okay. So here I am defining a set of states. Okay. So Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4 up till Qn are the set of states where I am assuming Q1 as the initial state of the system and Q2 is the only final state of the system. So here Q0, right? Q0 is equal to Q1, which is the initial state and F is equal to Q2, which is the final state of the systems. Whereas Q3, Q4 up till Qn is the other states in the system. I am assuming there is no state called as Q0. In later section of this video, I will say why we are not considering Q0. Similarly, there are special symbols, right? These are called as Sigma is an input symbol. Tau is called as the tape symbol and B is the blank symbol, right? So these symbols I'm going to represent using X. You can name anything here. I am considering X2 as the blank symbol. You can consider X1 or X3 or X4, anything as the blank symbol. Okay. And apart from that, all other remaining symbols will belong to either the input symbol or the tape symbol. So here also I am assuming that there is no symbol called as X0. So in later part, I'll be explaining why there is no Q0, why there is no X0 and why there is no D0 also. And then here there is left and right direction, right? So the left direction I am assuming to represent it by D1 and the right I am assuming to represent it by D2. So we have defined the set of states, the input symbol, tau symbol that is the tape symbol, then the initial state, then the final state, then left and right direction, then the blank symbol, right? I am only at to define what a transition function is now, right? So based on the transition function, we can define all the Turing machines, right? A Turing machine can contain a set of transition functions. So here I have given one transition function here. See, this one is a transition function, whereas from this current state QI on the input symbol XJ, it goes to a new state called as QK. Okay. Now the input symbol will become XL and my direction will be based on DM. Okay. So this is one transition like this. There will be many transitions possible for a Turing machine. So this transition function, I will represent based on this. So this is how I will represent a transition function. This single transition function will be represented in the binary format because the Turing machine encoding is in binary strings, right? So I will represent zero power I. Okay. This I represents UI here. Okay. Then one, I'll say what one is later. Okay. Zero power J one, zero power K. 1, 0 power L, 1, 0 power M. Fine. So this is how I will represent this single transition function. 
Now, why I am using one here is because to separate these two, right? I am considering one as a delimited to that single transition. Single one is considered as a delimited for a single transition function. I will say why we are not considering Q naught, X naught, D naught, and all. If I consider Q naught, that is I, J, K, L, M as zero, what happens? So let's assume now X naught is there. If I assume X naught is there, then J becomes zero, right? So here J becomes zero. So zero power zero is epsilon, right? So there is nothing here. Zero power zero means nothing is here. So zero double one is there. I should not get double one. Now you will be thinking why I should not get double one, right? So I will be explaining that now. So let's see. This is one of the transition functions, right? Similarly, there can be many transition functions to differentiate one transition function with the other transition function. I will be using one more delimiter double one. This differentiates from one transition to the other transition function. All these transitions will make up my Turing machines, right? So here first transition double one, which is a separator or a delimiter. Second transition function, again a delimiter. Third transition, so on up till how many transitions are there? I will write it here. Okay. Then I am representing this whole binary encoding as W. I have given a special condition I, J, K, L, M are all strictly greater than zero. Now you understood, right? Why I am not including Q naught, X naught and D naught. If I include Q naught, X naught or D naught, then I can get double one in the single transition function. But I don't want that. I want double one only to differentiate from first transition to the next transition. Okay, from one transition to next transition only, I need double one. Within a transition function, I should not get double one. Okay, if double one is there within a transition, then it will get confused whether it is in the single transition or it is from different transition. So to avoid that, I am keeping my states, my symbols and my directions strictly not zero. That is why I, J, K, L, and M are strictly greater than zero. Now I got the binary encoding, right? So this will be my binary encoding of a Turing machine. So this will be the binary strings, right? It will be my encoding, binary string encoding for a Turing machine. So now what I can infer from this, so this is a regular expression, right? So I can represent a Turing machine by this regular expression, zero plus one, the whole star. I assume that you know what zero plus one, the whole star is. So now we will see how we are going to interpret this encoding of a Turing machine. We have seen how to convert a Turing machine to a binary string right now. So from a Turing machine, we have converted to a binary string, right? So from the binary string, we can represent it as a base two number system, right? The binary string itself, a binary number, right? So this binary number, I can convert it into a decimal number also, right? So the decimal number will be base 10 as we all know. So now what I can say that, so from this decimal number, what I can infer, so there is a concept called as zero Turing machine, first Turing machine, second Turing machine, third Turing machine, so on up till there can be infinite number of Turing machines available. Now, if there is a Turing machine I, right? So this I will be a base 10 number, decimal number. So I will be converting this I to a binary number. So follow this orange mark here now, fine. So see here, this Turing machine I is a decimal number. This I represents a decimal number. I am converting the decimal number back to a binary number of base two. This binary number is itself a binary string, right? From, from that binary string, I can get the actual Turing machine by transition function. So from the binary string, now I'm going to do in the reverse process. If I get the transition function, I can draw the Turing machine now, right? Okay. So now let's consider a tricky situation. For example, we are representing second Turing machine. So second Turing machine in decimal is two. So it, in binary, it is represented by one zero to the base two. So this is how I convert a 
decimal number to a binary number after getting a binary number see here so what was my format it was 0 power i 1 0 power j 1 0 power k 1 0 power l 1 0 power m right so this was my format of the binary encoding now see the starting letter itself 1 that means i becomes 0 right but what i said i j k l m are strictly greater than 0 so there is no turing machine like second turing machine how to fix this issue 1 0 is not a valid turing machine right similarly whichever starts with 1 so this model right will not allow like second turing machine this is not a valid representation of binary encoding of a turing machine avoid this or to fix this issue what i am going to do is all these invalid turing machines are present right now from the decimal number system like first turing machine second turing machine there will be some invalid turing machines to fix the issue of the invalid turing machine what i am going to do is i am going to create one state turing machine this is the solution one state turing machine what this one state turing machine is going to do is it just simply has a start state with one state as q1 i will not put q0 why because qi right i is strictly greater than zero that's why i put starting as q1 so there will not be any transition there will not be any final state so what this language of the turing machine will accept the language accepted by the turing machine is nothing right it is null it will not accept anything because it doesn't have any final state and it doesn't have any input symbols so this represents an invalid turing machine so if there is any invalid turing machine like second turing machine so i will represent like this one a start state and a simple q1 so this is how i will encode a turing machine right so you have to keep a note here not every binary string is a valid turing machine this second one is not a valid turing machine based on the representation of 0 power i 1 0 power j 1 0 power k 1 0 power l 1 0 power m there is one more example also 1 1 0 0 1 if this is the binary encoding of a turing machine this is not a valid turing machine why it starts with one but my representation starts with zero right so for this also this one is the turing machine so this turing machine will accept only a null now i am going to give a task for you how will you construct a turing machine with binary encoding format see here the binary encoding format now changed from 0 power i to 1 power i 0 1 power j 0 1 power k 0 1 power l 0 1 power m so now the delimiter changed from 0 to 1 right so now you have to solve this encoding so this will be my binary encoding format now there can be many different binary encoding formats okay the previous one i explained with zero this one will be based on the one the question is what will be my delimited for the transaction this is my first question mention an example like turing machine 2 was an invalid turing machine in my previous case right so like that you have to mention an example for an invalid turing machine for this encoding format so these two you have to solve it and post your answers in the comments. I hope you understood this video.